it's Greek Gadget Guru. Today I'll be showing you how to make a night vision spy scope. For this project, you'll need a digital camera. I find the best one is Sanyo VPC51285. And the reason is because it uses regular batteries that you can change whenever. And it has a decent zoom, also, 2.7 inch large LCD screen. So it's perfect for. The second part of the camera, which is the 3-inch LCD viewfinder, which has a 2.8-inch screen. And um, what you do is I used some crazy glue just to connect that on. Originally, it came with an adhesive and a, um, uh, with a metal piece, that, a ring that went around your screen. And then there were magnets inside of here, but I found that since I was going to be keeping it this way, that I just brushed it on with this crazy glue. And you really want to use the, the crazy glue with a uh, brush because it allows you to be more accurate. And if you use too much, it reacts with the plastic and gets all messy. So try and find at least a brush kind. It doesn't have to be this brand. <clears throat> Next on the list is your 9 volt battery, your AA battery clip, which you can find at Radio Shack or online. You can get like a million more. Radio Shack has everything overpriced. Uh, this I just salvaged from some somewhere, um, just a, a switch. And you have the uh, wire which connects to your eight LEDs which are wired in parallel you'll have four and four and these two will be connected to uh, will both be positive ends and these two will both be negative ends and you connect them to a Y like a Y shape and then the end of your Y is connected to your battery pack and on the other side the positive is connected to your 10 ohm resistor which is then connected to the rest of your circuit your batteries uh, these specs on these LEDs they are 200 milliwatt triple infrared LEDs uh, buy them on eBay because if you don't they'll probably be about a buck a piece at Radio Shack so some things you can get away with at Radio Shack other things Better have a big wallet. Um, what else? This right here is a spool that I took from a cheap measuring tape. Measuring tape, just you know, you can use that or pitch it. Um, the spool inside fit has um, this, which is perfect for fitting over your camera if you modify it using a Dremel or you can just sit there. Um, I used scissors actually because I didn't have a large enough drill bit to make these holes. I took my soldering iron, poked a little hole, waited that for the uh, plastic to dry, and then I just took my scissors and twisted them until you know I had a decent sized hole. And it fits perfectly. So there's no contact with the actual camera itself. So. And then when you turn on the LEDs with the battery in, sorry, I'm an idiot. It's pretty bright, and um, the camera that I'm recording with actually isn't infrared. There's a filter in it, but this is so bright that um, not all of the infrared light is being blocked. So, if this was infrared, this whole screen would be just white from all the light. It's just it's really ridiculously bright. These two hundred milliwatt uh, LEDs are really really good. So, <clears throat> what haven't I explained? Um, the spool originally didn't have holes, so what I did is I took a needle heated the needle up with a lighter and used some pliers to just pop two holes uh, just all around here 
and uh, I think it turned out pretty good. Uh, this spool was also just um, crazy glue down. Less is more with this stuff. You don't want to gunk up the moving camera inside. So if you need to go back and you know enforce it, wait till it's on there, and then you can go all the way around the edge if you want. But I would say less is more because you really don't want to mess up that little uh, retracting thing. You want it to move nice and fluid like that. <clears throat> so, um, I'll be showing you guys the ranges. I'd say it's an, at least 50 feet. And um, the good thing about this viewfinder is if you focus the camera, see if you turn on these LEDs, they're so bright that you can actually see them on the screen. But if you focus it just right, you won't see the LEDs. And also, if you notice when you take any time you take a picture with a low quality camera, the image is always smaller than what your actual eye would see. So by zooming in, you can find the perfect um, combination that is equal with what your actual eye is seeing and what the camera is seeing on your left or right eye, whatever you decide to put this on. And um, this plastic rubber allows you to you know, hold it close to your eye and uh, it allows you to be more stealthy if you're spying on someone or you might use this for hunting. I'm just going to explain a little more how this circuit works for your LEDs. You have your positive, positive goes down to your Y and your LEDs. By Y, I mean the two positive ends of your LEDs should be connected to your tenor resistor. Then those go up to your negative. Your negative comes up, and then you see there's a wire here, and there's also a wire right here. That wire goes up to your switch, comes back down, and this is your negative. So it goes from here, back down, around, and to your other side, your positive. So, like I said, these are in parallel. Hopefully, you guys know what that is. If not, look it up. And if you have any questions, like I said, message me. Thanks. Here's a quick demonstration of how the night vision scope would work. Right now, I have the lights on. The light on the infrared light is not lit yet, so turn that on. And there, you can already see the kind of purple light coming off of the infrared lights. So I'm going to turn off the lights now. Can't see anything. It's pitch black in here. And there it is, focused on the screen. I'll zoom in a little bit. There's the end of my closet. Right now, I'm about 25 feet from the end of the closet. And you can clearly see everything to the back of the closet. And it's even bright, you can see at the very back of the closet, there's a little circle of light. So um, I think that tells me that this can even go further than my closet. But this is the darkest hallway I have in my house. So Thanks for watching. Hopefully you guys will take the time to actually build this. Let me know what you think. And if you have any questions, leave me a message. Thanks.